They've gone a long, long way in this Champions League campaign. And while they might be tempted to think about the final, first things first, this semi-final hurdle to clear. It's Inter. They take on Milan next on EA TV. Well, it is a stadium that absolutely oozes history. Here we are at the San Siro in Milan. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It's Inter up against Milan. Well, Derek, it looks fairly comfortable for Inter, but if they concede an early goal, start playing with fear, it might prove to be a difficult game today. starting lineup. Matteo Darmian starts alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Henrik Mkhitaryan starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Edin Dzeko. how Milan will line up. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Rade Krunic in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Leao. Sandro Tonali. Diaz. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Dumfries. Well, that's a super ball over the top. As you can see here, it all starts with a perfectly weighted ball in behind the defenders. But when he shoots, I expect him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Well, you just feel it might be getting away from them. 3-0 on aggregates. Dzeko Martinez has eyes for goal oh fine stop Rade Krunic Ben Asa. he's in with a chance Barella Dumfries well, not giving the opposition a look in that strong play Dzeko well Inter a bit wasteful in possession Brahim 
Leal. The cross towards Olivier Giroud, who's waiting at the back post. And intercepted there. Diaz. Now with Giroud. The ball with Martinez. Dumfries. So a throw in for Inter here. Well, the pass not finding its target. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Calabria. Now Giroud. And threading it forward. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the aggregate advantage, 3-1. Ismael Benacerra. Dzeko. And Inter might be able to cash in here. Martinez. And he's... The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Well, you saw that he was trying with that free kick, but the goalkeeper had it covered all the way. Who can they pick out? And just over the bar. Well, he attacked it so well, but he just couldn't get above it, could he? Rafael Leao. Rade Krunic. Calabria Benassa Calabria and not a great challenge free kick here well just a rebuke rather than a caution Stuart well it's not a bad tackle and the referees got that right And play to the front post. And a goal here! They've given themselves a chance, but need one more goal to force extra time. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So on aggregate, it stands at 3 2.
Mkhitaryan Martinez and a goal and I'll tell you what that gives them a bit of a cushion now Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? The aggregate lead is 4-2 and using his strength to shield the ball very quick thinking there how about the cross and still dangerous well, it looked so threatening, but the danger averted. And he read it superbly. Oh, showing excellent vision. A goal! As they cut into their advantage, still plenty of life in this match. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. Well, seven goals on aggregate, 4-3 is how it stands. And support available. Nicely cut out. Rade Krunic. Diaz. Krunic. Has a go. Body on the line. Leal and that'll be a Milan ball defensive Brazilians to shut them down Martinez and Inter with acres of space out wide now he's given it away Brahim. And the first half is in the history books here at the Meazza. And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Varela. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Dzeko Barella has it Barella on to Martinez well possibilities in the centre out of play and an inter throw in coming up
being egged on by the crowd might be dangerous can someone get on the end of this Jekko closing down well player in the way again potential danger here really needed to be spot on with the challenge inside the box Jekko on to Mkhitaryan it needs an accurate cross he's in control of the situation but just like that possession changes hands bodies forward and the break looks on Leal holding on to the ball waiting for the cavalry to arrive oh that's a really good authoritative tackle throw in here a long way out oh a smart stop substitution then let's see how it affects the match Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, not cleared away completely. Krunic. Kea. Now with Giroud. Leal. Great opportunity. Rafael Leal. And no way through. Mkhitaryan Federico Di Marco well the attacking options appear plentiful well it came to nothing in the end this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity Ben Asa. it's with Giroud Rafael Leao useful looking ball and doing all he can to grab his second of the game. Well, he's been a real live wire today. A constant threat to this back line. And they're making a change. And now the delivery. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Twenty minutes remaining. Barella, and it's with Dumfries, and space to attack. Jekko, and he's made headway, and it's in as they tighten their grip on the tie. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. Festival of attacking football. 5-3 on aggregate. Out of play then for a Milan throw. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Chance to play it in. Diaz. now out on the wing but they took care of the situation defensively a 
and slipped through beautifully. Well, that's a well-timed pass. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. of work for the scoreboard operators on this tie, 6-3 on aggregate Sandro Tonali he read the situation defensively and did his job Gozens And with that, the attack fizzles out. Martinez. Given away by Inter. Leal. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Martinez. Oh, that's an interesting pass. There's a slide rule pass. Save, but still a chance. And now it is truly final in more ways than one. Inter are going to the final. Well, that was a brilliant tie. Two teams throwing everything at it, both physically and mentally. But I think the better team over the two legs has gone through to the final. And what a game that will be. What a really superb driven performance by Edin Dzeko here, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.